Okay, so plan for this video is we're going to go over we're going to go over the planning guide two of two and at least one way for you to successfully record video record your app working. Okay, so just a second. All right, so first planning guide two of two. You need to at least have a rough draft of your app completed, rough draft, so to speak, something working. You're gonna get two different people to test your app. Getting their response is in part of it, but it's equally as important to watch them use it and see if they're using it wrong. Okay, you can't really blame users for bad design. If they're using it wrong, it's probably your fault. I mean, don't, don't overthink it. It's not like the end of the world, but uh, you have to design things for the users, not expecting them to know stuff coming in. Uh, um, I want them to use it. Uh, yes, in theory, they should try to break it. Or it shouldn't be breakable. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, so there's that. We'll talk about how to do recording here in a second. Actually, the if you're using a school computer, the way that I, there's always a lot of ways to do this, including if it comes down to it, you can use your phone and just record your lap, you know, screen or whatever, which, but um, if you are using a school computer, the professional way or one way to do it and have it look good is to use um, Active Inspire, which is the application I use to like draw on the screen. It's under applications and it is called Active Inspire. It's this one right here. And it takes like 15 minutes to load up. So while that's loading up, we'll talk about the, uh, the rest of the uh, worksheet. So the last part is a couple of uh, reflection questions, okay? Uh, first one is just describing the app. Don't overthink it. What does it do? What are the inputs, outputs? What is the purpose? And the second one is about your, um, the production of it, getting feedback, um, and that sort of thing. Okay, and the reflections and or feedback from other users and whatnot. And the rubric here, it's the same rubric as is on um, worksheet one of two. Okay, so worksheet two of two is a separate document. It has a separate assignment in Canvas that you need to attach it to. The four separate assignments for this project are go like are planning guide one of two planning guide two of two actually completing the app in app lab and the video recording which active inspire is still loading mm, what else can we talk about while this is loading it all pop up pop up at once. So, uh, so is that so there? Eh, oh, it's doing a thing. And uh, yeah, I guess if it doesn't pop up automatically, click on it. Um, it's actually still loading. All right, so this is a blank flip chart. You want to change it so that you can annotate on the desktop. And it is this orange button here. There we go. Nope, not yet, still loading. I told you like 15 minutes. Uh, 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 uh. 
this orange, well, we'll close this orange button and your toolbox may be like larger and on this side, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna go to file or main menu and tools and camera and uh, capture from active view. I think that's it. And no, it's not that one. Give me a second, which one is it? Did this the other day. Tools. Uh, you know, spotlight camera. More tools. There we go. Screen recorder. Area screen recorder. These menus are kind of ridiculous. Uh, let's see if I can make it look right. Okay, main menu. And you don't have to click. You just mouse over. File. Mouse over. Or tools. Mouse over more tools, screen recorder, area screen recorder. This will come up, select the area before you click anything here, just highlight what you want to record. Okay, and once it's highlighted, launch recorder and hit start recording. And then, well, you gotta save it, uh, give it a name and it's recording. So run, just have your app work the way it's supposed to. Uh, I guess I need to have it like that one. There we go. And so on. And just, you know, essentially go through all the options and see if it works. Then you hit stop and you will have a file uh, wherever it is you saved it. Where did I save it? Downloads? Nope. Documents. Generally a good idea to keep track of uh, where you save things. <laughs> Documents or downloads. And that video will, should look like this. Oh, and it's recording my... Okay. You don't need to do narration. You can just let it run. And that video file, which I guess will probably come out as a .avi, is the file you upload to, um, to Canvas. Okay. If you're doing it on Chromebook, there are screen capture, screen castify extensions that um, you can figure out what works best for you in that case. But this is one way that will work in or on the school computers. Okay, and if you miss something, you can just rewind the video and look at exactly where I clicked. Okay, uh, tools, more tools, screen recorder, area screen recorder. Okay, make sure you get everything in by due dates. We're coming down to the end of the core, end of the semester. And uh, you need to have everything in, okay. There's no extensions for this. I mean, to call this the due date, it's really more like this, uh, but get everything done. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.